Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Energy Storage Market Series. My name is Eris Dolev, and I'm Managing Director here at Renvu. Uh, today, we are going to be hearing uh, from uh, Iman uh, Olali, Marketing Manager uh, at Taigo, and uh, Dino uh, Ineda uh, about the, the Taigo Energy Intelligence Software, System Monitoring, uh, Fault Detection, Alerts, Remote Battery Management, and more. Uh, before we dive in, and while we are waiting for more people to join, I'd like to give a little background on Renvu, as well as some of the products and services we offer. Uh, Renvu is a U.S.-based solar equipment distributor. We have been in, in the industry for over a decade, and we currently have fulfillment facilities in California, New Jersey, and Texas. Uh, our sales staff they all have backgrounds with engineering and solar installation uh, to provide you with the best uh, uh, sales services. Um, a few products quickly to spotlight here. Uh, we're giving $250 gift card for every energy storage product you purchase this month. Uh, we have the Grow Up. Uh, new residential hybrid inverters and high uh, voltage battery banks. We carry the whole Solark portfolio and offering the new uh, Lumin smart panel. Uh, this smart panel uh, is available now. With this add-on to your main panel, you don't need to upgrade your existing panel or add a critical load panel. Uh, you can simply add this device and you will have a full monitoring and control over your uh, your loads. We're currently giving $250 gift card on each Lumen panel you buy, and Lumen gives uh, $200 for your first installation uh, of any of their panels. Uh, we have great deals on all N-Phase IQ series microinverters and accessories. Um, check with our sales uh, engineers if you have a project uh, need you need to install these. And of course, we carry uh, the Taigo optimizers and uh, rocket shutdown. Email us at uh, info at to, uh, or see our webinar, a follow-up email with more info on these. Uh, here is our commercial price list for large volume options and our upcoming offerings of solar modules. Uh, for solar panels, we have many options, um, but by far currently the Canadian Solar 395 is the best option here. We have uh, Hyperion on the shelf and Zen Shines, uh, which we, uh, we highly recommend currently. Uh, if you're looking for a commercial prod a product, uh, the Zen Shine 550 is currently available at a really low price. I'll take a minute also to mention the new Gleeky residential carport. Uh, this is a great way to expand exi existing solar systems or an alternative solution where you cannot install solar on a roof. So on here is the new uh, generation, fifth generation of Gleeky two car carport. There is also the option for a tandem solution with shared columns, so you can connect multiple of those when you need the uh, carport for more than two cars. It is designed to be assembled by a crew of two people. It doesn't require any specialized or heavy machinery to install. This is a solar structure, so it's eligible for the 30% ITC and extra 10% for US made products. This carport is supplied with an iron reach system and under panel clamps. So it accepts any solar module and inverter you want. It is designed and fabricated in the US with uh, US steel and comes with 25 years warranty. Uh, there are two uh, tea gasket options that can be added to make the surface watertight when using the camo under clamps. Uh, the narrow gasket here uh, will fit perfectly between the modules, but when you're using standard clamps, uh, the wider option is also available. Uh, the structure is coming with structural engineer PE stamp, you can install up to 24 solar modules with four columns of six modules. With four 10 watt modules, this is a 10 kilowatt system. And you can do the same with 550 watt modules. 18 of them will cover the, uh, the roof. Uh, with load capacities of up to 
48 a pound per square foot of snow, 215 miles per hour wind loads, and seismic design category F. Uh, this two-car carport is 18 feet wide to cover two standard carports and uh, car spots, sorry, and 18 feet uh, deep with uh, nine and a half feet clearance. It comes with five degree tilts. Mm. Now, one last item here to go over before we get started is our solar design and quote tool. Uh, you will find it on our uh, homepage. Um, you can generate as many quotes as you need in a couple of minutes without the need of uh, to wait for a sales engineer. It's available 24 seven, always updated with the latest products and pricing. First, select the components you would like to see in your quote. You can eliminate racking, inverters, or modules at this stage. Uh, then you can choose your panel. I, I, I chose uh, the Canadian Solar. And as you go through this on the left side, uh, you will see bill of materials building up. And when you're logged in to your account, prices changes as, uh, as you edit your system configuration. Now, this is a great way to compare the cost of difference option in, in real time. Our team updates this tool constantly with the latest solar components and pricing currently available in the market. Uh, next, you will configure your racking system from a wide range of options, tilted, flat roof, ground mount, or carport. I selected the tilted metal roof with corrugated profile and added two arrays, and one with uh, three rows, 10 modules, five and five. The first row will be in landscape, and the two other, sorry, the first row in portrait, and the two others will be in landscape. And then on the second array, I will add another 10 modules in portrait. Uh, you select the color of the rails and the clumps if you want to change it. And then I will also increase the span to six feet. The system creates a sketch of the array with dimensions so you can verify the design fits the space you have. Then you will choose your inverter type from microinverters, optimizers, and string inverters. I'll select string inverters here and storage option. Uh, from the options, I will select the uh, Solar 15K and home grid battery bank. And then the last step will be here to, to select uh, MLPE if you want traffic shutdown only or uh, optimizers, I will select the IGO uh, optimizer. On the last selection page, you can add a couple spare modules if you need balance of system, disconnects, the Lumen smart panel, and EV chargers. I will add here uh, two EV chargers. And then at the end, you can uh, save the quote on your uh, to your account and get a quote to your email. After generating the quote, the system will uh, take you to the quote page under my account so you can make changes, save, save as a PDF or place an order. You can also email our sales engineers the in, uh, at info at rainvoo.com. Our team will review the bill of materials and weigh in with insights uh, on configuration and availability. They're also available for any questions you may have about it. Um, take a moment to try it. This is a great way to uh, save time on quotes and compare pricing. Um, with that, I will transfer a transfer the presenter to Iman. Oh, hi, everyone. I think uh, Dino uh, would like to say something, and then I will uh, jump in. Dino, please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Iman. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon, everyone, depending on where you're at um, uh, today. A uh, quick introduction on my part. Dino Pineda, Sales and Business Development um, uh, Manager. 
I covered Northwest. Um, I do reside here in Northern California, so I cover anything Northern California, you know, Bay Area, but also the um, uh, Northwest states. Um, uh, so I frequent Oregon, Washington, um, along the way, just in case anybody on the call are on, um, uh, you know, these states um, uh, at this point. Yes, Iman will be talking about um, uh, our energy intelligence um, uh, platform, our software. And I know specifically she'll be going over certain things regarding about the fleet management, which is a really good thing to know about, especially if you already are using, um, uh, you know, uh, Tygo products, especially when it comes to our MLPEs, our optimizers. What I'll do is share my screen here. Got a couple of slides, um, uh, you know, to go over at this point in time. And I just want to make sure um, uh, you guys are seeing my screen where it says, um, uh, actually, let me just make sure I do that, EI Residential Solar Solution. So, you know, people know Tygo. Um, uh, you know, for different products, or I, I would say majority of the time, people know us for our MLP, uh, specifically the optimizer. But I just want to remind everybody, we have a suite of products, solutions, you know, that we offer, um, uh, you know, to our customers. Uh, with the exception of that solar module, you know, right at that very left, but we have the MLP, the optimizers. We do have hybrid inverter. Yes, a battery, um, uh, you know, along the way, if you want to pair that with your inverter. And then, of course, a transfer switch, is, which is necessary when that um, uh, battery is um, uh, you know, um, uh, installed along the way. And then from there, uh, a software, a, uh, you know, something for you to be able to see that these hardware, these products are actually working, you know, doing what they're supposed to. And that's what Iman's going to be talking about here um, uh, shortly. One last thing that I did want to mention, of course, once again, you know, Tygo's known for either the rapid shutdown or in this case, you know, the, the optimizer. Our family of our MLPEs, um, uh, you know, consist of um, uh, these um, uh, particular products. I'm going to go ahead and mention the O just because the fact that I would say that's more or less the Cadillac of our um, uh, products because it does provide the, the, the functions. I call it the trifecta of um, uh, functions when it comes to optimization, monitoring, and rapid um, uh, shutdown. And then along the way, of course, it even um, uh, tells you what equipment is necessary, um, uh, you know, with it when you do install that. You know, the O's are usually four when it comes to the, I would say, well, it is usually when it comes to the residential installation. Uh, I'm going to move over to the, um, uh, you know, towards the left where people are saying, well, you know, I just need it for my rap, the rep rapid shutdown because that is a commercial project and most of the time or, or you know people are using our f you know products uh, there is an option for the 2f of course along the way and something that we really are mentioning or promoting more is when it comes to the um, uh, s now i know cost um, uh, you know comes into play every single time for projects and as much as rapid shutdown is something that's necessary but the S provides the rapid shutdown along with monitoring. So a good segue here when Iman talks about, um, um, you know, the energy intelligence is that it's necessary to have that monitoring. So this way you are able to see that when you look at your computer, um, you know, seeing how these products are performing. So that monitoring piece is a necessary, um, um, you know, um, a function. So therefore, when it comes to the O's, the S, that is something that's definitely going to work out if you're using those particular, um, you know, part of our the family of our MLPEs. I'm sure there might be some questions along the way. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Iman and have her discuss um, energy intelligence. Thank you. Hey, uh, thank you, Dino. Um... Hello everyone, my name is Iman Al Ali. I'm software product marketing manager at Tygo. So um, let me share my screen and start with a couple of slides and then I will go to the live demo of the software. So. While uh, Iman is bringing up the uh, slides, I will just uh, remind everybody that if you have questions, uh, you can ask them in the Q&A a section 
we will go over all the questions at the end of the presentation. Mm -hmm. So can you see my screen? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Why Taigo Energy Intelligence? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, so the um, this solar energy is actually, let me see if it went there. Yeah, is uh, one of the fastest growing um, renewable energy in the world. Um, and uh, if you look at the uh, US, uh, at the end of 2022, uh, installers added about 4 million uh, solar uh, installations to the residences. And this number um, has grown uh, by an average of 37% year after year, starting 2005. So it means that the number of uh, solar installations are drastically, or the solar panels are drastically increasing. Uh, so moreover, as we know, solar installations also now include um, supplementary equipment such as EV chargers and the batteries. So it means that the uh, installers would need to have the capability to service uh, a substantial amount of equipment um, across uh, uh, numerous sites in a span of 25 years or more. Uh, so it's a very challenging uh, task in front of our, um, you know, um, the EPCs and installers. And we believe um, the solution uh, for this is a, a very uh, powerful and feature-rich uh, software with um, data analysis capabilities. And we think we believe that the Tygo Energy Intelligence Platform, along with fleet manager capabilities, uh, is um, is uh, the solution. So if we dig a little bit further into the numbers, uh, we'll see that the um, the the cost per truck roll. Uh, is about $800. So we hear different numbers between um, 500 and 1500. So we took some a number in between. And installers um, benchmark um, about uh, six truck rolls per megawatt per year. Uh, so it means that the cost of the um, of truck rolls per megawatt per year is about 5k um, in dollar US dollar, and when we take into consideration the generated energy in the US in 2022, um, in the uh, residential and CNI um, uh, installations. Uh, it means that the cost of the truck rolls in 2022 uh, was $222 million. So it is, um, um, it is a, a very big number. So it's a hefty and hidden price that would need to be uh, taken into consideration. So, um, We'll go through the software in the live demo, but there are um, capabilities in the uh, EI or energy intelligence platform um, that we wanna talk about that would uh, make um, possible to reduce the number of truck rolls as much as possible. Of course, we cannot make it zero, uh, but um, the price will go down drastically. And the reason is that with the help of the software, before you go to the site, you know exactly where the problem is. There are different kinds of monitoring from fleet level monitoring to, this, to the system level monitoring, and then module level monitoring. There's a performance that you can see uh, uh, you can see the um, uh, the um, alerts, uh, the history of the site, and uh, so all the uh, information that you would uh, need to know. So it means that when you are at the site, you know exactly where to go and to fix. Uh, there are um, 
some other capabilities of the EI software that is very important. So first of all, our commissioning time is less than 10 minutes. So it means that um, it's one of the fastest in the market. Uh, the EI platform is an open platform. Uh, so we are, so Taigo is one of the unique companies that uh, provides um, hardware um, and software, but this software is open to the third party products. Uh, there are of course some companies that have only software and they can see different products, but there are not many companies that provide hardware and software, but they still, they have an open architecture. Um, so the, the, our capabilities to be able to see or the monitor the system truly would open some gates for new um, business opportunities to our installers, for example, the preemptive maintenance um, and so on. That we will talk about it again in um, more details. And all of this, uh, the result of that um, is um, a more content, more educated and more content and more satisfied customers that would um, make the, um, you know, the, the, the provide referrals and the repeat business. So um, at this time, I would like to move to the software. I think, um, can you see the software now? I think so, okay. Um, if not, please let me know. So let me, um, uh, so if we want to um, talk, let me actually, what I'm going to do, sub video so I can talk about it. So um, the, this, the software that we have here is the um, EI a software. And I am going to show you that I'm, uh, I would like to enter to the fleet manager. So let's do that. So I'm going to click here and then on the fleet manager. Now the fleet manager dashboard opens. The fleet management dashboard is a data analysis project management tool, the first step. Uh, so it looks at the fleet. Uh, so it means that the multiple solar installations of an installer, in this case, this one is called Taigo Demo, is, an, is a fictive installer. And what they can see here is that they can they see three buckets up there. So they can see there are four installations that are not commissioned yet. There are 14 that the commissioning is in progress and there are 31 of their installations are already in operation. Uh, in addition to that, they can see that from these four installations that they are not commissioned yet, they are 100% on time. So it means that um, um, th they are not, so it's a kind of project management tool. Uh, they are within the time that they defined at the beginning for the installation date. Um, here you can see that the top critical systems um, that they have, and all of these are, um, all of these widgets are actually um, interactive. So I can click on it and get to that system. So to see what system we are talking about. Um, the system is uh, slow, but it's coming. So all of them are interactive. Also the top critical system, there are three, so I can click on it and I can see the list of these systems that are in critical condition. Uh, in addition to that, I have here the average, for example, commissioning time. We are not talking about all of the widgets because, we, because of the time constraint, uh, but this is also average commissioning time that shows that uh, the, the installations, how much time it took that the, that the commissioning is um, completed. So, and for this specific installer, they see that eight installations had commissioning in less than 10 minutes, three in less than one hour and so on. And here they see that there are six installations that, they're insta that uh, the commissioning took um, more than one week. 
one of the things that the installer then could do is click on those to find out which installations took longer, what was the reason, uh, maybe training, more training is required. They could see what equipment were used. So, and what they could, um, what enhancement steps they could um, uh, provide so that next time the commissioning could happen uh, in less than 10 minutes, uh, which is the um, standard commissioning time of Taigo systems. So the other things that, um, going back to the dashboard um, then from there i would like to go to the all systems view uh, this is my favorite page because uh, this is where you could see the entire fleet the entire systems on one page of course if there are more than 20 then you want to go to the next pages uh, but what can we see on this page uh, you could see the location information. So the uh, name and address and system ID, you could see the system status. So right away you can see that, for example, there are from this, I I can see that this system has a, is in critical condition and these two systems, they have communication issue. Now, if I go, uh, what else can we see here is the performance data and the weather data. So this is the local weather and the performance gives us that what was the last or the most recent generated energy, first of all, and what is expected. So you can see that. Um, so in this case, for example, in the first one that I'm showing is the six kilowatt <clears throat> is most recent and seven kilowatt was expected. And you, we see that it's um, um, the weather is cloudy. So that could be a reason of that. And this is the today's energy versus potential shows this and taking also into consideration the time of the day. Um, so when I see red, it means that my performance is low. It could be weather, it could be other reasons. Then we can dig down and I will go through that. So this is the rating. Performance ratio is also a very useful um, a factor. This is the a formula that is unique to Taigo. And with this formula, we can uh, calculate how much is the expected energy exactly at this moment in this location of the world uh, with this um, um, temperature, with this wind speed, and with this um, um, tilt or azimuth or with this orientation of the panel. And, um, and then that will take into consideration and then it will be compared with the actual generated energy and then uh, the the um, this, the percentage will be given. So it's a, it's a really, um, um, with the performance ratio, you will know exactly how much is the, is the real, it's a holistic view of the performance of the site. But for that purpose, you would need to provide, I mean, the, the customer would need to provide the tilt and azimuth information of their panels, of their uh, PV modules. So I would like now to go to show something and then go deep into one of these systems. Um, I would like to show you that um, it's not it. So you can even add additional information uh, to this page. So by clicking on very easily, by clicking on the bottom on the top right, I can add the inverter types, I can add module types, I can add the zip code, state, city, and so on. So as you can see, I added here the inverter types. And if I look at the first three um, um, sites, they are using Tygo inverters, but the fourth one is not. So it's Solis. I can see here it's Scenic, GrowWatt. So it means that the, the software is capable. This is the open architecture and the support for third-party inverters. As a matter of fact, we can show about 1,300 inverters um, in our system, um, which is uh, 
and which is excellent and um, is um, very much uh, desired by our customers. So module types are also listed here. And we, as we said, we added also the city and state and zip code here. Um, you could use uh, this information um, and um, and this site and and conduct some kind of filtering on it. And the filtering is again very easy. Um, the filtering, why you want to filter? Because, for example, you would like to find out what systems are in critical condition uh, just by going to the system and then find out the system status. And then you choose, for example, the ones that are in critical or warning condition. Now the list will be um, shorter and it shows only the system with uh, with, uh, with critical uh, condition. Or for example, you would like to find a specific system or the group of systems that are using specific inverter. Let's say, for example, we want to find the systems that are using um, Tygo inverters. So if I put here Tygo and apply, so now the list will only show the systems that are using Tygo. And um, so uh, you can also save whatever group you define, you can save it easily. And that saved group will be shown then here under the groups. Um, and then by clicking on it, for example, someone created a group which is called um, Solic uh, Inverters in the US. And then by clicking that, then you will see the number that, the, 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 that list. So the, you can save your groups. Um, one of the applications of this is, for example, you have, if you go based on the all systems and then find a zip code, um, then you can um, send when you're doing the truck rolls, um, combine the zip codes that are close to each other or the sites that are in one city or in vicinity of each other so that one, one truck could cover several of them in um, uh, 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 on one day. So now I'm going to go deeper inside in one of these installations. So let's say, for example, let's find a system that has battery. It's just because it's more interesting. So I'm going to find equipment. I want a, a filter based on the ones that have batteries. So it's uh, now these systems have batteries. So let's choose, for example, this side. A side window opened. So I'm going to click on overview. Now this is now I'm inside that specific um, site. Uh, this site is in Florence, <laughs> so it's in Italy. So the it's night, uh, or it's well, it's uh, it's seven thirty um, p.m. So that's why solar is not working. The power flow shows that the battery they're using their battery. And um, the house is consuming, um, but the good thing is that they are not uh, using the grid. So that's the power flow information that you can get from, um, um, from here. This is the 14 degrees Celsius is the local temperature. And you can see here that today metrics, how much energy was generated today? And that was uh, 31 kilowatt hour for this customer. And in top, on top of that, you can see that the reclaimed energy is 1.75 kilowatt hour. So as you saw, Ares and Dino, we're talking about optimizers. So when optimizers are deployed, uh, it means that this part, that amount of energy has not been um, lost. So that's the energy that has been regained or reclaimed back because of the right selection of the equipment. Now, if they have put, for example, the cost per kilowatt hour, we could have seen also the income equivalent of that. It just need to be added by the customer. 
So now let's look at the lifetime metrics. So the lifetime metrics for this customer is that they have their reclaimed energy. First of all, their um, generated energy is 3.99 megawatt hour, but the reclaimed energy is 176 kilowatt hour. So if they hadn't used um, optimizers, they would have completely lost this amount of energy. Uh, and, and this is also shown here in this image, the solar production, that I'm going to, uh, this, that you see the, the part of it is um, in, in light green and part of it is in dark green. The light green shows the um, impact of the reclaimed energy or the impact of optimizers. Um, and that's, um, again, the amount of energy that has been gained back. So, and the reason I'm saying is that this is because of the easy way of showing to the homeowners and customers that what it means uh, using an optimizer versus a product that does not um, do the optimization is that you can show to their to their end customers that by a little bit of higher um, uh, investing on a higher or better product at the beginning, like optimizers, then uh, in the long run, it would have a, a big impact on your um, financial um, uh, numbers. So it's, um, it's a little bit more expensive at the beginning, but it really worth it. So the other thing that I would like to show you is the status. So status is actually the equipment status information. And this is part of the fleet manager. So what you can see here is that right away, you can see, first of all, what equipment is uh, installed at this site and what um, brand, what is their serial, serial number. And um, for the inverter, you can see the brand. For all the MLPs, you can see the brand. Uh, and also you can see the health status. Um, for example, if I look at the first one, is this one CCA, which is our gateway and the data logger equipment um, that are our systems communicate with the cloud and with the software. So they have one CCA that is um, healthy. We have the serial number and last checking check in was four minutes ago. Um, but the inverter has an issue. So it's in critical condition. So we're going to dig down to see what could be the reason together. So it's a Tyco Energy product. There are 27 PV modules. Uh, this, uh, um, they have 27 PV modules. They all use optimizers. So you, you can see the TS4-AO and the serial number, and they're all healthy. Uh, if they were not, you would have seen here um, some of them in red. They are using a battery, as we know, and these are all the modules of the battery, and they are um, the serial number, and they're all healthy. So let's dig down to see what is the problem with the, with the inverter. Uh, so I'm going to click on it. A side window opens. I'm going to click on Equipment History. Now this opens. Now I can see all the problems that they have, all the all the faults and all the issues that happened for this inverter can be seen on the history page of the site. We do not delete any um, uh, any um, uh, alerts or critical events or activities. They're all listed here. In this case, they're all listed here for this specific inverter because we clicked on the inverter. Uh, but all, you have that information I will show you for the entire site. So what can we see says that um, inverter, inverter fault detected. And if you click on it, it says that we have detected a problem in your uh, inverter, verify wiring is correct. So it gives some additional information about that um, inverter. Now, we could also go and look at the alerts. Alerts shows the list of the 
alerts, the safety and the performance alerts that came up. And you see that we see that on 31st of October uh, that um, happened. Tygo EI inverted fault happened. Um, you could also uh, dig further and go to, for example, look at the system view. Um, so it means that from this status, we can uh, we can go to the uh, history and dig down to the reasons why the inverter was not has an issue. The other things that um, we can look here is the system view. System view is actually um, the module level monitoring. So module level, let me make it bigger. Yeah. So the module level monitoring, you can see here that this is the energy. Um, and this is the energy of today, 7th of February, generated energy. I can also click on the right side and get the power. So first of all, if I go to the power, I can also look, click on this and get the energy, the history, for example, on 30th of January or any of the dates here. And when you have the premium access, you will be able to click on this as well. So from the inception, you can check the, um, the, the generated energy, but this customer does not have the premium access, but these are available. So they can go uh, back and look at uh, the systems for two weeks. Now, if I click on the power, power, I can see the generated uh, power at this moment. So. This is low, why? Because it's dark there. It's 7.15 p.m. Uh, in, uh, in, in Italy. So, but I can change the time. As you see, I'm dragging this on the bottom and I bring it and now I see, now I'm at 3.30 p.m. and you can see the generated power per panel. Now, and then I'm just changing the time. So, and I can do this also for the history. So I can go back and look at the time of any date that I want and do the same thing that we did right now. I can also uh, look at the reclaimed power. So the power that has been regained, regained because of the optimizers. So, and I can also switch the time and see that. So when um, the um, uh, the reclaimed energy is higher, it means that that specific panel uh, experiences shadow. So it means that the optimization needed to uh, come into into function. So um, the other thing that I would like to show you that I think it's very helpful. This is part of the fleet manager. Is the history page. So this is where. You, you can see all the faults, all the activities of whatever happened in the system. As I said, we do not delete that. When a fault comes, it's there. And when it's clear, it is also there. So you can see that. Uh, in addition to that, this page is a collaboration tool. So what it means is that when uh, several people are working at a site, then they will be able to share knowledge among themselves about that specific site. It's very easy that you add here at, and then when I do this, then one of the names that will come is the name of one of my colleagues who is working at the same site. So I can, I can send a note and send it that my colleague from um, who is working also in this, at the same site will receive a message that you received, a, um, for example, a message from Iman uh, about the site 79476. And then um, no additional information needs to be sent because that person is also on this, at the site, at the software, uh, and they can see all the uh, problems of the site, the equipment, all the information is there. So the software... Uh, has the integrated collaboration tool. Uh, in addition to that, Fleet Manager has the integrated 
tool for contacting directly with Taigo support personnel or opening an RMA uh, with us, with Taigo support. And this is also very easy. Just when you put at one of the options that will come up is Taigo energy support. So you write whatever the reason is and you send it right away. Our technical support people will receive your message. It will be um, added to their um, work schedule. You will be receiving a message here listed with the tracking number of your uh, request. So it's a, um, this integrated uh, capability is very helpful. I think the last thing that I want to show you because of the time is these charts. Um, so you can see lots of information from the charts. So it means that you will be able to see the uh, solar production in form of uh, graphs, but also in form of, um, you know, text. You would be able to see not only the system level generated power, but also string uh, level. So this is a string A, a string B. When I click on a string A, then what it will shown here is only the um, uh, string A information. And what is in red is actually the reclaimed power or reclaimed energy because of optimizers. And I can do the same thing for string B, or I can do the for the entire system. Uh, in addition to that, you could uh, you could see if I click here, there are several other uh, charts that you would be able to see. For example, you can look at the grid. So how much export import to the grid has been done. You could also, as you see here, you can do it per minute, per hour, per day, for the month, for the year. So you can go back, look at the history of this data. Uh, you can look at the consumption of the house, of that location. So there are, and all, as I said, the information is also shown in the, um, here. Um, um, maybe I, I show the last, that, I would say that was the last thing, but I think this is also interesting. So you can also remotely um, um, change the behavior of your uh, system in respect of the of battery. Uh, for example, this customer has chosen the maximum self-consumption. Consumption. So what it means is that they would like to be able to be off grid as much as possible. The only thing that they want to um, define here is, for example, they don't want to have the battery charge goes under 26% or whatever, 25%. So you can change it. Uh, but there's also an, another option, which is time of use. So you define when you want to um, exactly use, not use the or not charge the battery, and which is between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m., of course, because it's the most expensive one. And you want to be able to use your battery as much as possible. You can define whether AC charging is allowed or not, and if allowed, when it is allowed, when, of course, when the grid power uh, price is the lowest. So you can change that uh, by just, you know, changing. And also you can define that when it's a forced discharge, forced discharge, for example, between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. So that's the, um, the, the battery management capabilities. So I'm going to um, then stop here so we have enough time for um, questions. Thank you, Iman. Thank you. Appreciate you going over that. Yes, we do have some questions to um, uh, you know, go over here. I was um, uh, looking at it, glancing it. I'm um, you know, glancing over it. Um, some I think was answered along the way during your presentation. But we'll go ahead and start from the very first one and then go along the way. I may refer to you, of course, if I'm not 100% about the um, uh, the answer, and um, uh, we'll go from there. Are Tygo products made in the United States? Well, I always say when this question comes up, we are a, um, a, United, a U.S. company based here in Campbell, um, uh, California, here in Northern California. Our products are assembled 
out of the country um, uh, at this point, specifically coming from Asia. Uh, I believe most of our products are from, um, uh, you know, assembled in Thailand. Next question. Can this software um, uh, be used in a battery installation? Looks like that was um, uh, something that Iman have shown. I think like especially at the um, end portion of it um, along the way, um, uh, you know, showing regarding about the battery. So, yes, definitely, without a doubt. Um, good question from David. Looks like um, uh, he has our optimizers along paired with a grow watt um, uh, inverter. Um, what I'll do here is um, uh, put on type the answer um, uh, here shortly. But we have, of course, a, um, uh, you know, a hotline, a, um, a tech support line that you can definitely um, uh, reach out to. Uh, if you happen to be an installer, it is something that I also mention all the time. This is something that we've been really promoting ever since RE Plus in um, Las Vegas last September, our Green Glove program. Our Green Glove program basically consists of us being able to uh, you know, assist installers with the design, installation, and post-installation post support. So that way, it's a way of us being able to say, hey, you're having issues? Yes, we want to figure out you know, what these issues are. So for us to be able to like, you know, get you back on track, but I'll post that here shortly um, uh, on the answer. So um, I guess kind of answered it, but I'll definitely, um, you know, put down the um, uh, contact number there. Uh, next one, I, I was reading this a couple of times. Can I add a system into the software that does not have MLP units installed as yet? Um, you know, earlier before Iman started talking. So good news is you can use our MLPEs. If you're not using our MLPEs, but using, let's say, our hybrid inverter and then, uh, you know, having the battery along the way, um, uh, you know, attaching the battery with that hybrid inverter, if that is something that's already, um, uh, you know, you want to do, that is an option. It's not necessary that you have to have the MLPEs with our inverters or vice versa. So no MLPEs yet, but if you are using our hybrid inverter, because the, it does come with a CCA and a tap, um, you know, tap kit for the wireless mesh, CCA for the um, data logger. So therefore there is a monitoring provided if you have our hybrid inverter. So you can not have the MLPEs yet, and then it's something that you could add on I'm uh, down the line. Let's see here. To use the PM features of the software, e.g. I have existing in the field, want to add it to my fleet and effort to sell customer to monitoring services. So once again, there is a monitoring service if you're using our um, um, you know, hybrid, hybrid inverter, but with no MLPE at this point. And then from there, I want to utilize the PM features of the software. The client may opt out of the MLPs, but I can upsell them on the monitoring later. Yes, you know, it is something that I think it's one of the questions here coming up too. I think it's the next one, actually. I'm uh, saying by I'm, uh, Aristotle regarding about the um, uh, cost. I'm going to uh, refer back to you, um, uh, Iman, um, uh, at this point. I think let's just assume some people are already using our products, and I think they already have access to it. But I know moving forward, based on what you've been updating me, uh, the cost involved for new folks that are going to be like, you know, using our products? If you can address that question by Aristotle. Yeah, so um, so we are talking about the software cost. Is that the question, the, the software yes. cost? Yes. So the software, um, when you purchase one of the hardware of Tygo, so it means that either inverter or the MLPEs, you will be receiving the, the software, the EI platform software for free free of charge for the installers and also for homeowners. However, there are some capabilities that are in the fleet manager, not the EI platform. Fleet manager is um, kind of the capability to see multiple sites. There are some capabilities in the fleet manager that, that are in addition to the EI platform. That is the one that costs. For example, you... Um, you want to see what is it, what is uh, included. So if I go to one of these sites, um, this um, the charts, all the charts that we saw, everything is free of charge, 
alerts free of charge, system view, so module level monitoring free of charge. So what costs more? And this, uh, what, what costs more here is the status. So this is status is part of the fleet manager. That is some cost is involved. And I tell you this, we have a promotion this year. This is a very good pricing. So there is no reason not to join actually, because as I said, the price is very good. <laughs> and on top of that, you will be receiving premium access for all of your installations. So what else is included in the fleet manager that is not included in the free version is the history page. So the history page where you have all the history and also where you have the collaboration tool and the direct um, opening direct support ticket with Tygo. That is part of the fleet manager that is cost. But as I said here, module level monitoring, all the charts, all the alerts, and the, this one is also free of charge. Now, the other thing that is, if you go to the this installation page, this is free of charge. So, and but what you see here is the name, address, this is all the installations and the map where they're located. But the one that I showed you, this one, fleet manager, the, this dashboard is part of the fleet manager that cost is involved. That's the one that um, part of that you want to be the paid uh, customers to see that. All systems view, this one is incomparable with what I showed you before, but as you see, you have more information here. You have the system status, you have the, uh, the performance status, the weather information, the uh, performance ratio and all of that. This is part of the fleet manager. So it means that the basic functionalities for managing one site, everything is free of charge for the installer and for, for um, and also battery management uh, is free of charge for the installer and for the end customer. What is included in the fleet manager, just more capability to streamline your operation, to make it your life easier to see more about your system. Thank you, Iman. Uh, let's see here. Moving on to the next question. We've got to pick up here. Okay. You may have to refer, I might have to refer to you on this one. Can you import the equipment information manually? Um, yes, so actually when you uh, use the EI app, for commissioning, um, the um, so ma well, when you're doing that, we have hundreds of PV modules and hundreds of inverters in the list. So it means that you can select one. Um, now, if it is missing, um, you can no, you cannot enter it. But what you could do is that you contact us. As a matter of fact, that happened a couple of days ago. A PV module was missing in the pull down menu in the app. And I contacted the software team and they added that within one hour. Um, they, of course, they're going to go look, you know, do some investigation to ensure that the compatibility is there. Uh, but they added that very, fa very fast. So either you want to select either from the pull down menu or let us know and we will add it here so you can choose it. That's about the PV modules and inverters. Got it. Thank you. Uh, got a few more minutes here. Could this system be used for a fleet that does not have any Tygo products? If you do not, so what you want to, um, so let me, so what you would need at least is the CCA and the TAP, or the CC actually. And let's say, for example, you are not using any of our MLPs and you are not using any version either, that what you want, you would need the CCA, which is the, that's the data logger and the uh, cloud connect device. So that's minimum. But then you could add a, an, um, uh, a meter, so the uh, to is, is connected to the inverter and is communicating with the CCA. So that meter will be connected to the CCA and the information from the meter, for example, AC generated power can be 
transferred here and can be seen on the software. What you will not be able to see is the status of the um, of the let's say for, the, the status of each equipment. For example, this one. So you will be what you will be able to see in that scenario that we said, you will be seeing the CCA, you know, the status and last check-in and so on, but you will not be able to see the status of the inverter um, because, and you cannot, of course, you cannot see any of those. Um, now, the other thing that you will not be able to see is the module level monitoring because the module level, the information is coming from one of the MLPs of Taigo. What you will be seeing, you will be able to see is the generation, the AC generation, not the PV, but the AC. So this one, you will be able to invert your AC generation because it's coming from that meter that you have added. You will not be able to see a string level monitoring, but you will be able to see the site level monitoring. As much, if you add more products from Taigo, like the inverter, the MLPs, you will be able to see more and more. So it means that remotely, you will have more information about your site. But this is possible, as, as I said, this is the amount of information that you would be able to see. Awesome. Last few here um, uh, from David. Do you account for the energy it takes to run the optimizers in your reclaimed energy? I know you spoke about reclaimed energy here, but do you account for the energy used? I think it is three watt or something like that. I have the information is very minimal. Okay. And let's see here. Um, I am not familiar. I, I'll be honest. Uh, regarding about GAD's reporting. Um, so not sure if Eras or anybody wanted to chime in, but um, I do apologize regarding about the uh, question for GAD's reporting. All right. Um, I know this is from Aristotle too. I'm going to go to the last one here for existing systems. Can your can your team assist with the integration of Tiger monitoring and its equipment? Yes, without a doubt. That's definitely um, uh, you know our hotline. Um, uh, and from there, sounds like you are an installer, um, uh, Aristotle. I highly highly suggest that you use the Green Glove um, uh, program. What I'm going to um, uh, be doing here when um, a pain provides everybody's contact, your name will definitely stick out. Um, and I'm going to reach out to you through email, provide you our Green Glove program. So this mm -hmm. way you can request that um, a program. Once again, it's us making sure that you have um, a help or what your support right from the get go, especially if you're using our products for the very first time. Right. So, um, I wanted to, uh, you know, just wanted to uh, show you the green glove is if you um, let me share again, because that's, um, yeah. So can you see my uh, screen? Can you see again my screen? Not yet. Not yet. Um, I, can, I can see you. Okay. Um, so can you see it now? Can you see, can now? see it now? Yeah. Yes. So I just typed here Taigo Green Glove. And then it, when it comes, I click on it. So yes, Green sir, Glove yes. Service Program. And what you want to do is get Green Glove. So when I click on it, a form opens. So you write down, you know, just residential, commercial, name, and so on. And get Green Glove. And it's very easy. And, I, and it's, you know, I don't know why somebody shouldn't use that because this is if you're for the first time installing a, a one of like a uh, Taigo installations, then you will receive a, a technical support with you, assigned to you, always available for you. Then you can call and uh, they help you and every step of the process. So it's very easy to sign up. So again, you just go on Taigo website and the first page is Green Glove Service or put Taigo Energy and Green Gloves and it will come up. 
So it's very easy to sign up. Uh, also Thank wanted you. to, uh, sure, sure. Wanted to say that, uh, please, if your installations, if you have more than about 10 installations, please, um, please, um, you know, contact Dino uh, for getting access to the fleet manager, really, because as I said, we have a very good promotion this year and um, it's just the, 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 um, the, the cost is peanuts. And uh, so you, but you will get access to that. You have one month free um, just for trial. Uh, and then after that, um, um, you have for, for one year, um, the access to the fleet manager, plus you will have access to the premium access. And we will talk about all the features that you will get with the premium for all of your installations. So it's, it's a very good promotion um, that I would uh, recommend that you take advantage of it. Um, thank you, Iman. Eris, thank you. Thanks a lot. If you guys have any uh, further questions, you may uh, email us at info@renvu.com for any information and pricing. Um, this webinar is being recorded, and we'll send you a link in a follow-up email with all the details and uh, and the recording itself. Um, Iman and Dino, thank you very much for your time and uh, for sharing your knowledge with us. Sure, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Have a great rest Have a very of your nice week. rest of the day. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.